Okay, in that video I would like to show you how to manage IP addresses in the Splinks. Uh, under networking we have IPv4 networks where we define all the networks which we are using. We are using networks uh, for management and also for giving the customers access. So the yellow network uh, is a root net and uh, the networks below are end nets. So let's define the first network which we will use. 172.16.0.0 BM means uh, bitmask, which is uh, slash 24 in that case. Region 1 network. And that network we will be using for as a main network for region. So this network will be root. All other subnets will be uh, assigned as a part of that network. So this is usage is a type of usage is management and network type I will set up root net. If I click on calculator it will show me which IP addresses I can use in this network, what is my wildcard mask, uh, what is my broadcast address and all useful things. So okay I agree to use it and add network. So I see this network is marked as yellow so it means it's a root net. So now I can split this network and add smaller subnets. 172.16.0.0 slash 28 I'm using for a let's say region 1 uh, equipment. I'm putting the title and the command the same. As I said this is equipment so it means that it's an end net and management only. I will use it for management. I'm not able to assign IP addresses from that net to customers. For customers I will create a different network and it will be larger 32 IP addresses slash 27 and I will call it region 1 uh, let's say AP1 or maybe even better to change it to tower. So let's make it tower1 and also comment is the same and network type is endnet and this IP network will be used as a static IP assignments. We can statically assign IP addresses using radius or just statically use it in the system. So we have two networks, two subnets slash 28 and slash 27 they are all part of large slash 24 and here is the list of uh, slash 28 which is used for equipment as we said let's define some IP addresses inside it so the, f the first is uh, let's say it will be the main router on the tower or in the region and uh, host ca category we will change to router so it will show us the router icon and this IP address is used. Let's make the second one as a Hewitt Packer switch. Also the main switch in the region on the main tower and also we use it and define it as a layer 2 device. So we, we see the list of IP addresses, some statistics and here is uh, some kind of nice pictures showing us uh, icons and which IP, which IPs are used by which device. I can send mass ping to all IPs in the subnet and I will get a response very quickly. So we can send this mass ping even to thousands of devices which is very powerful tool. So let's refresh it and we see that that network with uh, equipment is already used and we have some usage there. Okay let's assign some IP address to customer and see how it will lock IP address in IP management. And the services, we define the service internet and we can say that this is going to take IP address, as I said, statically. Radius will assign it and IP address will be from a pool 172.16.0.35. Additional network, so additional IP addresses are, let's say it will be 34 and even we can assign some subnets. When we do it, we assign such 30 in this case, save, and here is a list of all IPs used by the customer. Let's go back to IP networks and we see, refresh, that the second network which is used for customers is already partly used. So there is a use by ID 3 and network overview shows us the same information. And so the most important thing is that we avoid misconfigurations and uh, there is no IP address 
conflicts because everything is stored in one database. How to import IP addresses? So that what I shown you, it was a manual work, but I want to show you how to do it automatically. So I can define all my networks with the subnet marks and descriptions and the network type, which is really important. I define it in a file, in an Excel file. I export it as a CSV and in import model I can make import IPv4 delimiter comma and just import the CSV file. Upload, then it will show me some kind of preview. Okay, let's check the preview. Yes, so let's process it, submit. When I submit it, I will go back to my networks and in networking I have to refresh it and now there is a list of new IP networks added. So this way you can define everything and just import it. Thank you for your time.